Hello Vault Heads, this is the self-proclaimed, sarcastically named Captain Keyforge, also known as PJ Broughton of the Steel City Snuffle Gators. Captain Keyforge back again with Amber Skies opens it, openings. Um, and as well, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open a Sky Beast deck. I only got two of these. Um, I think a few of us probably haven't got exactly got loads of them. Um, I don't think they had them as an option, so I think it was just, you know, as a pledge reward. So, probably like most other people, got got a couple, unless you went in as a really, really, really big spender. And good on you if you did. Um, and I hope you got something playable and something good. Um, I mean, if I could choose... I would probably choose the one that looks like a handmade shark just because it's the uh, mascot of the set, as it, as it were. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. So, let's see what name we've got. We have the sheriff that prays to this. I really hope this has got this now. Can we even have this in this set? Yes, we can. So let's see if we get Dis for the Sheriff that prays to Dis, or if he's a Sheriff that prays to Dis who doesn't like Dis. So we got Brobnar, and we got Dis, and we got Skyborn. Well, that's quite good. But I don't think I've ever had a deck with a house name in it before. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what we get here. Time to start taking your taking your bets on which sky beast you think it'll be. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And twelve here. So Right then, look at what we got. Skulking Saboteurs. A, but with a dis enhancement, able to play in dis. Two power, elusive after reap. If your red key is forged, destroy an enemy creature. If your yellow key is forged, destroy enemy artifact. If your blue key is forged, destroy an enemy upgrade. Love that card, love that card already. That's great because it's like I have to decide which key I want and why I want to forge that key and I have to try and keep it alive until great card I like the design on that i mean don't get me wrong might not be the best card in the set but it is elusive so i love the design on it that's for sure and we've got two of them so yeah we shouldn't be too worried about artifact control seeker missiles play two damage to a creature for each skyborn flank creature okay a scalawag fin six power after fight heals three damage off itself okay safe port if your yellow key is forged a friendly creature captures two if your opponent's yellow key is forged steal one okay so obviously so far you're possibly looking at the yellow keys best for for this deck raiding party after fight if two keys of the same color are forged steal two otherwise steal one i like all this this is going to be fun play destroy an enemy flying creature nice two of them might only be one creature but bottom line, they can't put anything valuable on the flank. And if it's even near the flank, I can get to it. I can deal with it. Indigo Halyard, five power. While your blue key is forged, he gains after reap, ready and fry with another friendly creature. And while my opponent's blue key is forged, he gains taunt. Chandler Anouk, each friendly flank creature gets two power. He gets two armor and gains taunt. Freedom to be forged key at plus four current cost reduced by one amber for each skyborn creature on a flank well i mean that that'd, that'd be eight then if i've got two skyborn flank creatures and you'd hope that when you played it you would be able to do that do you know what i've never had um a deck with a key chi and amber control and board wipes so if this has got a board wipe could actually be uh, 
quite good. We'll go for this this stack next and see what we've got there. So what have we got here? Terence Surefoot, Brodnar. Three elusive after an enemy creature reaps. Move one from him to the common supply. Play after reap, capture one. Okay. Amber controlling Brodnar. Nice to see. Raise your glass. Amber pit, play. Ready and use the least powerful friendly creature. I mean, there's a good chance it's going to be your, your three power dude there. Two of them. So you would hope that there's um, an, maybe another low power Brobnar one just so you can get it out. Incensed. One Amber play for the remainder of the turn each friendly creature gains after fight game one. Okay. DB Gobber. Goblin, after eat your opponent loses one. Scrap, each player with seven or more loses two. Again, the, the Bromnar little goblins are doing amber control. Here to see it. A serious mace, artifact, action. Give a creature two plus one power counters. Deal two damage to each of that creature's neighbours. Okay. But again, it gives me the option to deal damage to the opponent. Cacophonous Riot, ready and enrage a creature and each of its neighbours with an amber. Bosch the Unyielding, taunt. After fight, fully heal Bosch the Unyielding. Right, that's good. So he's going to be quite easy to keep alive, you'd think. Two of those. That's good. Berserker Slam, playable in this with an amber pip. Deal four damage to a flank creature. If it destroys it, you could, you, its control loses one. I'm the control again. Two of those. Clap of thunder. Destroy the least powerful creature. Ready and enrage the most powerful creature. Okay. I mean, still yet to see an actual full on board wipe, but I'll say this it looks like it's got plenty of creature control. And I don't think we've seen the Sky Beast yet either, have we? So let's have a look. Maybe it'll be in this. Dexus. Five power. After your opponent plays a creature on their right flank, they lose one. And it's a special rarity or a link rarity. Um, suspend Amanda. After fight, choose a house. If your opponent your opponent cannot play actions, cards of that house during the next turn. Okay, so a bit like the old control where you can restrain Gunter's bit there. Two of those. So mess with their ability to play cards. Slayer. Three power. Skirmish, splash attack. Three. If there are no enemy creatures in play, destroy Slayer. Okay, good card. Shame about that condition. But enhanced this. <laughs> so yeah, we've seen those around. Scrap. Deal two damage to a friendly creature. Okay, you don't want him alive then for for that. Two of those. Okay. Have I seen much scrap? Mind fire. We like mind fire. Your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Steal one. Dust imp. Two power. Destroy. Gain two. Two of those. Three of those, well, okay. A gift of amber, destroy up to two creatures. For each creature destroyed this way, the creature's control against one. <laughs> so if you destroyed those, you gain six. So you gain two, gain two, gain number two. <laughs> um, but I can destroy my opponents as well. And then we have got to power that alpha, oh, alpha, yuck. Uh, player, choose a house. That house becomes the active house. Okay, so I can choose this, play him, and then choose house and play everything else. So he's essentially playable on any turn. As long as you play him first. Or her. <laughs> Not horrible. Right, which one... He's the Sky Beast. Titanarchon. So it's one of the ones in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ha <laughs> ha! Interesting. There we go. I've taken it out. It's there. Titanarchon. Uh, four 
power elusive the first creature you play each turn enters play ready I'm gonna tell you what that'll need to go that's a good card um, I mean it's not going to trigger ever on the turn you put it down because you put it it's the first creature you play even if it's the first creature you play it's the first creature you play that's got to go quickly it's a strong sky beast in terms of of what it does um i think this one could be fun let's let's count the amber it's certainly got artifact control it's certainly got creature control uh, one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, ten, about right. Maybe a tiny bit above average. Creatures, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Again, with these, with these creature related cards 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 that's a good thing with all those cards that are like first creature play comes in ready lowest creature use it you know okay there was a bit of amber control i don't know if there's quite as much amber control as i certainly like to see and some of it as well it's conditional as in you've got to get it down and have it ready and stuff like that um but that's i mean my my deck that i chose in the name of was skyborn because i chose skyborn but that's two for two on skyborn every deck's had skyborn in it so far um which is a good thing i'm not unhappy about that um no complaints there because again you you want to see the new house you probably want to see it above average um you don't want to see it above averages across the set, I suppose, but you certainly want to get a few because realistically you've never had any before. So, um, as ever, what do you think? Which cards do you think are good? Which cards do you think are bad? Why? Um, is there anything you'd, you'd have loved to have seen in it because it would have comboed well with something else? Um, let us know what you think. Uh, and yeah, there'll be more videos, more openings, and hopefully some gameplay. Thanks for watching. So feel free to like and subscribe. I love comments and criticism, so please feel free to leave those. I'll hope to see you next time, but until then, may the forge be with you.